How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Banks Hawaii's Crypto Corner. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to explore a little bit because there's certain ideas and everyone's learning, especially me, so I'm trying to pass this along as well. So I'm going to make this all about one simple idea, which isn't simple until you know it. <laughs> it's like, oh, and it's proof of stake versus proof of work. Now in cryptocurrency, especially a dual coin, but if we look at even the big ones, Bitcoin and Ethereum, they generate coin by constructing the blockchain, block by block by block. And they're making coin as well. Well, as it takes something to make the blocks, computer power, and this is called mining. So coins are mined using the building of the blocks of the blockchain. And it all starts off with Bitcoin. And we know Bitcoin. Bitcoin's up there hovering around that $50,000 range. It would take a dip and then it goes back up. And this is March 7th. So I believe it went back up to 51,000, whatever it is specifically. It's up now and it has its own behavior. But it has to be mined. And it, Bitcoin, the first cryptocurrency, is mined by proof of work. Now, what is proof of work? Well, proof of work involves a computer solving a big puzzle, making it have to do a lot of work. So there's all this talk about how much money, how much electricity, and is this eco-friendly and all this. By the way, this is Crypto Corner and like and subscribe. It helps out the channel if you, if you press the like and subscribe. And over here in the corner, there's a little link to a dual coin the homepage for convenience because I feature a dual coin. So how much money does Bitcoin, I mean, how much energy, which can translate into value, how much money is attached to how much energy is used to make Bitcoin? Well, let's take a little look. Okay, I have some things already crypt, uh, <laughs> posted up here <laughs> and a little research thing going on. Here's one called the Digit. Digiconomist, Digiconomist, and they're at Digiconomist, Digiconomist.net. Now, if you look here, this is stuff online. Just showing you. Bitcoin Energy Consumption Index chart. We don't need to zoom in. I just want to show you a few just simple things. Annual, every year, total in one year. Now. It's got over here a carbon footprint of 36.95. I don't even know. I think that's megatons with the M being mega, which is, I think, a thousand, thousand tons of CO2. Uh, comparable to New Zealand in a year. Electronic waste. I mean, electronic energy used 77.78 tetrawatts. That's like a million or a billion watts compared to the power consumption of Chile. Electronic waste 10.8 it says the uh, uh, kilo tons I suppose compared to the e-waste of Luxembourg. So basically a whole country worth of energy. How about the single transaction? One, one mind you, Bitcoin transaction. Okay. Kilograms in carbon dioxide, 328. Oh, that doesn't sound bad. Well, it's about the same size as 54,000 hours of watching YouTube or um, 728,000 visa transactions for one transaction. Ah, oh, I like these ones though. Okay, well, energy. Uh, okay, one transaction for Bitcoin. 
average U.S. household over 20, almost 24 days. <laughs> 24 days for one transaction. Um, electronic waste. Uh, a, a, a C battery and a half of waste. Okay, so this is, that's so much energy just for using Bitcoin. Why? 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 Well, let's take a look at this article here real quick. I'm trying to make this real quick, though, for you guys. Um, this is that one. This is that one. Or is it? Uh, uh, this one here. This one is blockchain. Um, this is technologyreview.com. MIT, guys. And they, they want me to subscribe. I'm just going to glance at this real quick. Blockchains use massive amounts of energy, but there's no plan to fix that. So basically, they got so much energy they use that, you know, is it actually going to be sustainable in the future? And I mean, uh, what's super cool, uh, the trusted authority, oh yeah, this, you know, they, it's estimated it uses a source electricity annually as all of Nigeria. Oh my gosh. Take note, I'll do a coin. It, it just has so much. Does it have a plan to change that? Because is it going to be able to do that? Why? Why or oh why? Well, here's something. If I can find it, where is it? Okay, not that one. This one? No. This one? Nope. I had it here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Bitcoin is mined with a lot of computers linked together in series or secret. And they use a lot of so they go to energy cheap places and they have to cool down so there's a lot of these ones in cold countries and cheap electricity or but it's gigantic farms of bitcoin mining computers and that actually purchasing a computer to mine bitcoin is actually expensive to the miner this is just pictures of what bitcoin mining farms look like just a series of pictures now, oh, well, Ethereum, is it any better? Well, here's the same Digiconomist. Ethereum isn't too much better because it's still proof of work. And it's single transactions a little bit better than Bitcoin's was, or its total is a little bit better, but they're still proof of work. Is it going to get better? They plan the switch, but basically not yet. What is proof of stake? What's the other thing? Okay, but dual coin is proof of stake. Those are proof of work. It takes that thing to work it. What is proof of stake? Well, you get your mining wallet, you put coin in there, digital coin inside your mining wallet, digital virtual coin. It's uh so you put in a dual coin in your dual mining wallet. Then you put a pat you know, you make yourself a password and then you open your wallet and you stake so much. So you, say if you had a thousand coins and you put a thousand coins in there stake a thousand coins so a thousand coins in your in your a dual mining wallet will be clicking away that's a dual mining uh proof of stake proof of stake and what would that look like it would look like this it would look like it would look like a computer it would look like your computer it would look like an average laptop here's proof here's what proof of stake looks like a laptop so you get your laptop or whatever device and you put your mining wallet on there and you can mine why doesn't it need a big farm because everybody can mine there's some criticism like people with more coins or more at stake get more reward and that's true it's like you reap what you sow thing and you put a lot in there to stake you, you still hold the, all the coins they're all yours and you can still pull them out whenever you want but when you're staking them you're leaving them there and they're mining so if you put a lot in there you know it's, it's staking more it's mining more it's rewarding more but it's all a whole bunch of people using all their laptops and all the laptops update at once the whole blockchain updates those are the consensus it's a consensus all the laptops update at once
that's the difference between proof of work and proof of stake and that is just so much easier than that and so that is why proof of stake for a dual coin is so much better. It doesn't use all the electricity. Okay, your laptop is on, so technically it's using electricity. But is your laptop on anyway? Is is someone hair dryer on anyway? And it's not using a massive amount of electricity in the size of a small country or a big country. And it, one transaction isn't going to you know, take 24 hours of a household of electricity worth of, it's just astronomical. So proof of work is dinosaur and it's gonna go out the way, but it's all in that, lots of it is that now, Bitcoin, Ethereum, they're all proof of work. So a dual coin is actually designed like Bitcoin, but it's proof of stake. It's designed better and better in the long run. So. Get yourself some Adua coin. You can go here with the link. It that works. Oh, on my on my side it works. Or just go aduacoin.io. Get yourself a mining wallet, which is real easy. They're down here for Mac or Windows. Get yourself a mining wallet, and then put your you know your uh, your. Uh, a dual coin in there and start mining. That's a great way to start. It's stored of value. It's it's like your little bank. And then you can put some from your mining wallet, put some in your a dual pay wallet, your e-mobile wallet. So you have your main stuff in your mining wallet and then have whatever you want in your a dual pay wallet. It's like your little passport to the merchants that will start accepting and, and this will get wide adoption. Oh, thank you. Thank you for listening and hang loose till next time. Cryptocurrency with a Magus Max Y. A dual coin. All right. Aloha. Bye.